G'day everyone, I'm Saltwater Steve. This is our seven foot or two meter long fowler. There's the line dotty back that we got last week and it's doing exactly what I hoped. It's the boss now and no one's picking on our barramundi cod anymore. So it comes out, it's still got a bit of missing fin if you can see there. But, well, they, um, they're, all, they're all mates. So it did the trick. Luna isn't picking on everybody. And we've got a bunch of live food down here. They're all glass shrimp where we'll shoot over to. I'll, I'll put that in the video. We're gonna do a live feeding. But before we do a live feeding, I'll take you to Ocean Reefs because I bought a special new fish. I went to film it when we went to pick it up yesterday at Ocean Reefs and he was hiding so you didn't get to see it. But we'll shoot to all them clips and then I'll show you where he is in our little quarantine tank out the back. Okay, we'll see you at Ocean Reefs in a second. We're back at Ocean Reefs, Salty Fam. There's that blue jawed tricker. Trigger? Tricker. He's a tricker. So we are here to grab the blue spot cod. Oh, and typically, he's the guy on his head. Check out these guys, Salty Fam. They're a hingeback shrimp. They're not reef safe, but they're cool. Yeah, I find the yellow ones do more though. Yeah. I wonder how big they are. Oh, little coral gobies, they're cool. Yeah, it's kind of like, what are their speed? Awesome colours. Check out the magenta street dress. Come on, come into a nice spot, let me get a good picture. Is that another one? Oh, how pretty. He sold. He means well. Lionfish is gonna get him, I reckon. Oh, oh hey! The... All right, Salty Fam, this is our quarantine tank. These things are drummers. They're fighting each other. But what we picked up yesterday was this guy. Oh, can you see him? He's the blue spotted rock cod. Now, we'll shoot quickly to um, Ocean Reef Marina and Mindari Marina where we're doing a bit of glass shrimp catching and a bit of fishing and stuff where we caught this cool little sargasm fish and all these glass shrimp. See you again in a sec and I'll show you an actual better bit of footage of what this sargasm fish looks like. Morning Salty Fam. We got the cast net here, we got nets, and we are here. We're gonna try and catch some glass shrimp. We're gonna sling the net. It's super early, but let's have a bit of fun so we can catch some glass shrimp. So we're up, we're doing the rock climbing. Go up on this rock, up on here. And we're gonna go searching all through these. You just can't even see, guys. So I probably won't film too much, but I'm gonna be just scooping in and under all this stuff. There's crabs, I can already see shrimp and everything all around. The sun's slowly, slowly coming up. We got quite a decent amount there. We're gonna to continue to keep looking around as the sun's coming up. I just dropped the keys, they fell out of my pocket into the water. They still work, the car started, thank goodness, but don't tell anyone about that, that's our secret. <laughs> you! Well, oh, saltwater Zayden's on to another two. Can you see them? Two beautiful little ones. I can get, I can hold them out. Nice, chuck them in. One. One. And there's two. Oh, flick. Oh, oh. oh my god. <laughs> and two. Woohoo! This is going to be a good live feeding, so make sure you stick around. Didn't do too bad guys. They are balls and balls and balls of glass shrimp. Not too bad at all. Hey saltwater's Aiden. Mm. Alright. I don't know if you can see that salty fan, but that's a Shaw's boxfish. I'll try my best to try and scoop him for you. There's two of them down there. Can we keep them? Oh we're not happy. Oh they're for cooler water, but we'll try. We won't keep them though. No. 
but we'll try and get one. We'll let you have a close look at it. This one out, Salty Fam. We'll get him in the bucket, but this is a, I'm sure, a junior type of um, sargasm fish. Let's hold him up. Yeah, definitely. I'm sure a long time ago, I used to have one of these. I'll chuck a picture up on the screen of one we've caught oh, a couple of years ago. He's so small. We might be able to take him home and put him in the sump. I don't, I don't know. Xavi really wants to. I really want to too. You do? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, we say last one a few times now, haven't we? Yeah. And I say brown for now. I'm sorry, brown. Sorry, I don't need you. The last one now. Can we get something good? A wheel. We got a wheel. Four yeah. wheel. Wait, can I hold it? <laughs> oh, the the wheel is for me. Oh, and a little crab. Oh, yay. Crappy boy right here. Teeny tiny little fella. It's all over the place, guys. Just trying to figure out which order to do it. So um, I've done my usual with our, um, whenever we get any live food, we use this stuff, parasite treatment. We dose that up. And it's also, I've been using my little container. It's sitting at about 1. 0 0.010 or about 14 or 15 parts per thousand so it's quite fresh so it's almost had a fresh water a bath for about two hours now and the parasite treatment and with the little um sargasm fish he had two three minute salt water um fresh water baths so we gave him a little one we got the water the fresh water the same tank as the temperature popped him in for a quick three minute fresh water dip then let him recover and come good and then about oh, an hour later, we give him another one before we put him in there, just in case there's any parasites in there. We don't want to introduce them like we did when um, we lost most of our angelfish. We've learnt our lesson. Let's get some live food going in for these guys. We also got another one of these. We got one and put it inside. Um, it's doing really, really well. I'll cut to a little 10, 20 second video I've got of the one inside and how well that's doing. How nice is this looking? Well, half of it. <laughs> wow, would you look at that? Just look at it. <laughs> Beautiful. How cute is this little guy? Let's try and get him to... He is so small. I've looked everywhere for the footage of the old one we used to have and I cannot find it. But we're going to put him in the sump with um, Elon and Spike but in his own little colander and we're going to grow him up till he's big enough to go inside. What an absolute little dude. He's so cute. <laughs> this is where this little guy's going to live. We'll um, try and grow him up. Get him big, in with Elon and Spike. So Elon and Spike have a new little tank mate. This little fella, hopefully we can grow him up and get him big enough to go inside. What do you think Spike? You agree, you wanna do a bit of water spitting? Where's Elon? Hiding. Scoop number one. Oh, the goatfish is on it. Luna's on it. Here's our big drummer. Hey, there we go. Fu Manchu got one. Another few in there. You scared, Barricod? Oh, these guys are going to go down the... 
No. Hide. Mr. Sweet Lips is going for him. Luna's got one hanging out. Couple up there hanging on for dear life. Oh, the pink tail got one. Mr. Sweet Lips doesn't know what to do with him. The goat fish likes him. <laughs> All action, there we go. You bite and miss the salt water barrel for. Oh, because you've got heaps hanging out your mouth, I see. Good shot. Alright, I'm going to take a few. Oh, fell out. I'm going to dump these ones in with Spike and Elon. These ones going in with Spike and Elon. If, if they will. Sorry guys. There you go, Elon. How you going, mate? There's a glass shrimp. He was like, what the hell was that trying to crawl on me? Hey, Spike. Hi, guys. Hopefully, um, they can just do a lot of cleaning up in here. I'll get some food and feed you guys. You gonna blow some water? Spit some water. Go on. You got a good film in? Drop them in, couple. Couple. Falling down. Dashing speeds. Okay, there he is, the blue spot. There's blue spot in there. Oh, he's scared. Well, he looks a bit scared of it. He's like, what's these guys? Oh my God, it's a big guy and he's so scared of him. Because that's the glass too. Not gonna lie, I'll be scared of it. They're all falling down. Uh, these guys are in here. There we go. Come on. Got it. Good boy. So hopefully we can get him big quite fast and he can go in there. And then we can get Luna, Saltwater Barra, Spike out of the sump. And they can go in the pond when we set that up and we can start making more progress. How exciting. If you're enjoying this one, smash that like button, guys. Scoop going in, salty fan. There's a little crab in here too. I bet you they'll hold on to the net because they are not silly. And they're scared for life. There goes the little crab. Oh my god, there's a... Oh look, he's going to get another one. Let's watch him get it. Come on, get him. He's right there. Boom! Oh. Just wasn't in the middle, it's so tricky. Everyone's cleaning up. How cool. I love the old live feedings. How good is it? I was a, in two minds when we were buying the Lion Dotty back. Cause I know they are very aggressive and I thought, oh, is it gonna work? But it did. Luna's not bullying anybody around now. It's just awesome. And once we got the pond set up just here, and saltwater barrier goes in, Luna the moon rask goes in, the lion dotty back goes in. We'll probably put the stripies in as well. And then we can get a few more really nice fish, a few more cod, the blue spot cod will come into here. 
Love it. Hopefully you've enjoyed that one, Salty Fam. If you did, don't forget to... Hit the like button. And if you would like to see more of these kind of videos, be sure to... Subscribe and hit that bell and ring it up. Ring that, ring that notification bell so you'll be notified when we make another video. But until next time, stay, stay salty! salty. Yoo!